On, on the issue of uh, the court tomorrow, we have received threats from the following people. Uh, Kennedy Anotu, I, I said that his number in that press conference. Prince Jude A.G.K., Honorable Imeje Ikechuku, and one of them. The threat center around them wanting us not to come to court tomorrow, else we'll be killed. So we are only alerting the threat general police, because we are going to attend that court. Every one of you saw what happened there yesterday. We are going to attend that court. They can carry on, they can carry out their plan to assassinate us. Because we know that Obi himself is supposed to conduct himself in a civil manner. When you are in a party and you don't want to respect the leadership, just like as he did in PDP, he did that in Abga, and now he's doing it in the Labour Party. When you don't want to respect the Constitutional Authority, we on our own part, we will also not you know, give you that respect. So what we are saying is this, that we are now at the verge of losing the only governor that we have. Due to gross incompetence of Abure, the suspended national chairman, in connivance with Mr. Peter Obi, because they were the one that were toying with all the northern states then. All of you, you remember, in the constitution of the President Campaign Committee, all the northern states, they put a southeast man as a coordinator and a northerner as a deputy coordinator. This was what causes us to lose all the governorship candidates, the Senate, the Rep, before the election to APC and PDP in Kano, in Jigawa, in Baoshi, in Yobe, in Safara, in Shokoto, because all these people, they vetted the anger that why would you put a non-indigenous of their state above them? Is it because the northerners are not qualified?